Welcome to a video from the GTLive.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is a Redstone 4 build, build 17035. Uh, been a couple of weeks since we had a build, and this one is available for insiders on the fast ring, on skip ahead. Um, if you've got an AMD, pro AMD processor, you won't actually get this build. There's um, a bug that causes a blue screen, um, so they've not released it for AMD, although they are working on a fix for that. Okay, so what's new in this? Well, you can now mute a tab. One of the options is to mute it. There's no sound play on this tab. If I played it, it would drown me out talking, so I won't. But, yeah, nice, simple thing. Um, mute the tab, which is a re really good idea. So I'm glad to see that's that's there. So the other thing you can do is you can now save EPUB books. You see, you've got the menu option that was up there then. There's the save menu option for saving EPUB books. So that's new. Okay, what else is new? There's a new share option. There's a new share option, so I can show you that. Let's say I go to share. This is downloading from OneDrive. Near me. And it's going to look for Bluetooth devices near me. So any Bluetooth devices that are, are nearby that have uh, enabled will uh, be show up in there. So you can share images, documents, whatever you want. And anything that uses the share icon, which is really handy for sharing between devices. Uh, you know, no more emailing links to each other. You can now just send it over Bluetooth, which is which is great. Something else which is available if you're in the UK, US, or Australia is you can now shop for Surface hardware uh, using the using the, the Windows Store. So let's have a quick look. I'll click on the link to take me to the store, and there we go. So you can buy directly from the Microsoft Store, which um, which is good. Um, it's not particularly that difficult to buy from for the browser, but it is good to have it on one place. So you've got apps, games, music, books, and now hardware in there. So other minor changes, some of the settings have been improved. Um, you can, some of the sound options uh, have been improved. So if I go to system and then sound... So these have been moved from the old uh, legacy control panel into into here and they've also updated the ease of access uh, screen as well uh, which they added in a, a previous build so this new separated menu which I do quite like they've, they've added some change made some changes to that on-screen keyboard gets a change as well which will be interesting to see it's now got the acrylic design so it looks white through there and if I minimize and go back to the desktop, there you go, you can see it's got that tr sort of transparency through. So it's not full transparency, but it does have that sort of uh, new Windows style look, which is good to see. Also back is this keyboard. You may not have noticed this, but if you're in US, then this keyboard has been available all the time. If you're in uh, UK uh, or other language, the only this keyboard was available. Um, the small one. So now that full keyboard is back and that's great. So it's got the escape and the Windows key and everything. So that is really good to, to see that back. Another thing they've added is the ability to have the preemptive text when you're typing, but that only works in US English. So um, my keyboard set to U in UK English, so I can't show you that at the time. There's a bunch of other changes, lots of fixes. Um, default location for Cortana and um, action center the uh, updated the clear all to say clear away let's just check um, clear all notifications there we go um, so there's a bunch of different fixes you can see those on the blog post on the digital lifestyle.com uh, there was a couple of known issues around missing apps which was carried on from the previous build there was a fix for that and um, there's a flicker when you switch between use a touchpad on virtual desktops and uh, there may be some certain win 32 apps with checkboxes missing but uh, they said they're investigating that so that's the main changes i do like um the direction it's changed this is going now especially the nicely the keyboard back the full keyboard there and um of course the mute tabs great to see that so you can see more on the digital lifestyle.com go on our youtube channel we've got some new forums on digital lifestyle.com please check those out thanks for watching this one